Hello everyone, I know I'm a little bit late on this, but I thought I might as well showcase Sea Tween in the full Abyss 12 run while we wait on Emily's release. And I also picked up Purina Constellation 2, which was actually quite a big upgrade, so I think uh, showcasing this off here right now makes also a lot of sense. And without further ado, I also try to uh, include Ningguang because I just picked up her Echo and I think it looks really cool. And um, I guess I can go for Geo Resonance with a Shiori because Shiori obviously has some nice synergy with a Siege Queen with her like elemental skill damage. And then and these two obviously, and then uh, the first one, I guess I just picked the good old... Actually, I just picked up um, Shiver, so I might as well play some overload. I haven't tried it yet, so this might go horribly wrong, but um, yeah, how bad can it actually be, so... <laughs> Maybe I'm surprised and it's actually really good. Oh, crit rate, that's nice. I think... Just her first skill, or no, her elemental skill, I think, is the important skill. Need to press it for the healing and to activate her passive skills, I think. If I remember correctly. I just pressed both of them. There's <laughs> kids, I guess. It's actually uh, feeling kind of okay. <laughs> The rotation is a little bit awkward because uh, it doesn't line up well with the Zhang Ling's um, cooldowns, but could be worse, I guess. Yes, I use the shit to go first to reach that guy. That was actually not bad. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. <laughs> and now, um, obviously, she already in front of Farina, so I instantly switched to her, and then I just used the regular skill with the Sea Tween because the extra damage from the Hold version doesn't really matter that much to me. And um, my Ningguang is also on Akiya Petra, and since I only have Geo and Hydro characters here, I think it's quite good because I can guarantee the extra damage for the Hydro characters. I guess I wait on the skill for what's her name? Farina. Okay, now I messed up my rotation a lot, but because of that. Should be fine. Oh wait, this guy is still alive. Okay. Actually, a little bit closer than I would have liked it to be, but that's okay. <laughs> now we have Mago Kenki, I believe. So let's see how this works. Oh, actually, max HP is pretty good, here, but I like the energy recharge. I guess I might as well press it now. I don't think she does that much damage that I actually care that much. Oh, wait. <laughs> My energy wasn't there. Guess the good thing about this is that you don't really care too much about this teleport since you don't really mind chasing him around. That's kind of nice. Oh. 
That was also kind of decent. Should be fine. that speaking of missing I miss playing Ning Wang. <laughs> I used to play her all the time but it's been a while actually quite decent. I think I had more than 30 seconds left. No last chamber. Um, oh, I could pick this. Uh, whatever, I just pick the burst damage. Well, this should be quite easy too, because I think I can interrupt this uh, spiel with the, with the Electro characters. Oh, not quite. Okay, this is kind of awkward for now. Well, I guess it was still sub one minute, so there should be plenty of time for this. Oh, I shouldn't die on my name one, well. I just realized. Come on. Thank you. Wait, where did the jet screen go? This should be a boner. Yeah, that was actually quite easy. That's weird. I, I thought I, I remembered it to be a little bit harder on the first uh, first time around last patch, but yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, anyway, let me show up the builds really quickly. I, like I said, or did I mention it already? I don't even remember. I don't have a good weapon for her. Obviously, it's hard to find a bow with HP substats. And for the artifact set, I use the emblem set because it just has my best substats. And yeah, other sets would probably be a little bit better in this team, especially because I'm not using the burst skill too often. But I guess it's fine. And uh, standard, f uh, not too standard for Reno build. I actually farmed quite a long time for these artifacts, but 
Yeah, espe especially the helmet is not that great, but the rest is actually quite good. 200 energy recharge with these um, crit crit damage stats is... I'm pretty happy with this. Same for Shiori, of course, she also benefited from this. And Ningguang, I... She was my favorite character for a while, so I also invested a lot into her. Oh, C6. I don't remember if I showed it on Shiori. Uh, Raiden, again, also Constellation 2. She was the first character I actually got Constellation for on this account. It's a free-to-play account, but yeah, I, I picked up some some uh, uh, exclusive weapons or weapon banner exclusives and like this and um, got some Constellations on some characters. Um, official, there we go. Very standard build. I'm not even on the, um, what's it called? The, I forgot what it's called. Give me a second. <laughs> the golden troop set for her, but I, I kind of like, um, going with uh, the electro damage here and the attack because it also works on her passive skill. And I think it's actually quite a, quite a big um, part of her damage. So. Yeah, I, I'm not super uh, super convinced that the Golden Troop set is actually that good on her. Uh, Shivers, I actually just have uh, used some, some utility set on her, which you could also use on Banner or stuff like that. Actually, Banner probably needs a little bit more energy recharge, but it's yeah, just high HP for her healing. I'm a little bit confused because some of her skills do actually quite quite good damage, so... I'm not sure if you can build her on damage too, but I chose to build her on high HP. Yeah, Emblem set is also probably the set I farmed the most, that's why I have also some, some pretty decent pieces. Well, alright, um, I guess next I uh, focus on Emily, and until then, have fun, and bye-bye.